It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Will Edutech. Now, in this video, we'll be looking at rule number three, the power to zero rule, when working with exponents or indices, how we treat them. So here it states, any base raised to the power of zero is equal to one. And for example, we have, we have a, a, a quick example here. We have the base a raised to a power of zero, and here we have it equal to one. So really, my friends, uh, when we're in mathematics, anything that is raised to the power of zero is one. So for example, let's say you you had a base two, and that base two is raised to the power of zero. Then obviously that the answer would really be one. Okay. Likewise, if you should have let's say a fraction three upon four, okay, and three upon four is all raised to the power of zero. Okay, my friends, and that would also be equal to one. That's what this. Uh, rule is saying or even if you have a variable because I don't really want you to get used to the fact that you're only working with numbers even if you have a variable p is equal to sorry p raised to the power of zero that also would be equal to one or even if it's a decimal it doesn't matter my friends let's say you had 0 0.34 and this was raised to the power of zero okay this would also be equal to one okay so what we're saying my friends is that Anything that you're working with, whether a number or a letter or a variable, it doesn't matter whether it's a fraction or a decimal. Once it is raised to the power of zero, it is equal to one. Your answer will be one. Okay. Now let's look at the whole intuition. Let's look at the idea behind it. Why is it that when a base is raised to a, a power of zero, it equates or it equal one? All right. Let's look at a, a quick example. Now, in example number one, okay, let's look at the whole idea behind this, the concept behind this. Let's say we have a three square, okay, divided by a three squared, okay, my friends. Now, based on what we learned from the previous lesson, uh, when dealing with rule two, when dividing indices of the same base, and if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you could always go back and review that lesson in the playlist that you're now watching. Now, basically, what we said here is that since the bases are the same, we would rewrite the base and we will just simply subtract the powers. If you notice, I have a two there and the division sign means that I'm subtracting the powers and I'm subtracting two. So this would work out to my friends. Essentially, I would have a three and two minus two that would leave us with a zero and three to the zero, as we have been saying, that is equal to one. OK, so if you're using the rule, basically, this is what you would have gotten. This is what this is how uh, your, this is what your answer would have worked out to be. Now, let's look at it another way. OK, because we had expressed earlier that this can be written in another way. This three, this three square divided by three square, I'm going to work it out another way and hopefully you'll see the whole concept behind it now. I am really saying three times three, okay? That's three square, three times three. Let me write this a little bit better. Three, okay? And that is being divided by also three times three. Okay, guys? And this is really equal to, and if you notice, my friends, all I'm simply doing is going to, I'm going to be canceling out. Three into itself goes once. Three into that three goes once. Three into itself also goes once. And three into that three goes once. If you notice what I have left up top, I have a one up top and I have a one times one at the bottom also. So I have one upon one, which is the same as one. Okay? So this is a second method that I had you that I have used this is a second method that I have used to work out the same problem and if you notice in both cases our answer we have gotten the same answer and that answer is one in both cases okay my friends so really hopefully you have seen that but let's look at let's look at another example just to reinforce the the whole concept I mean this is also true if you're even working with fractions let's say you had one upon four okay or a a quarter okay one upon four and let's say this is cube to the third power divided by one upon four also to the third power okay my friends now really based on the rule we're dividing indices notice the one upon four is the base in both case so the base is common so all I'm simply doing I'm just rewriting my base to say my base is one upon four and I'm just going to put that in a bracket to show that it's all cube. And this is saying three and I'm subtracting since I'm dividing, I'm subtracting. 
So basically what I would have here, I would have a 1 upon 4. Okay, my friends, all raised to the power of 0 because 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 and obviously that would be equal to 1. Now, if we should use the same method, okay, or if we should use the same concept and let's look at it another way, let's look at it in a second, using a second method, okay, what this is saying, 1 upon 4, a uh, cube is, this, is just simply saying I have 1 upon 4 multiplying itself 3 times. 1 upon 4 times 1 upon 4. Okay, my friends? And I'm basically dividing. So I'm just going to draw my horizontal line. And this horizontal line is called the vinculum. Okay, guys? So I'm just simply going to be, I'm going to be dividing by 1 upon 4, multiplying itself 3 times also. So this would be 1 upon 4 also times 1 upon 4. Okay, times 1 upon 4. Okay, my friends. So really, what this is saying, uh, we have one upon four here in my denom in my numerator up top and my denominator down the bottom. So I can simply just go ahead and cancel out. One upon four will cancel into itself once, and it will go into that once. Then this one upon four will cancel out with this one upon four. Okay, and then this one will also cancel out with that one. Okay, my friends. So if you notice, what is left up top? One times one is one times one is also one. So I have a one up there, and I have. 1 times 1 is 1 times another 1 is also 1. So again, we have 1 upon 1, which is equal to 1. Okay, so this again, my friends, using fractions, you still see it happening that whenever a base is raised to the power of 0, it is equal to 1. Now, the final example that I'll be looking at now, my friends, is uh, let, let's use letters now because I just don't want you to have the general idea. Um, like that it's just numbers it's relating to, okay? Let's look at some letters, okay? So in example number three, I'll be using letters, okay? Let's say I have a base K, and my base K is raised to the power of a half, one upon two, and that is divided by, open bracket, I have a base K here raised to the power of one upon four multiplied by base k raised to the power of 1 upon 4. Okay, let's say we, we were given a problem like this in the exam and we're asked to solve this. Now, let's quickly look at it. Uh, this implies that, and this can be written another way, and let's just quickly look at it. This is really saying k raised to the power of a half, and this is all upon divided by, and if you notice, I've just simply changed my division sign to this horizontal line, and I'm dividing by k raised to the 1 upon 4, uh, multiply by k raised to the 1 upon 4, okay? And this implies, my friends, that, remember, uh, in earlier lessons, we have stated that when mul multiplying indices of the same base, we add the powers. So this is really k raised to the half, Okay, and we are just simply adding the powers. So we have a common base k there, and I'm saying 1 upon 4, okay, plus my 1 upon 4, okay? And if you're not sure what is happening here, you could always review the first rule on indices, okay, in this playlist. Now, really, what I have left here is k raised to the power of a half, and this is all upon, and if you notice what is happening here, my friends, if you notice here, I have a 1 upon 4, so my base is common, and if you notice, I have a 1 upon 4 being added, so if you notice, my denominators are the same, and when adding fractions with the same denominator, you simply add the numerators, okay? So 1 plus 1, that would give me a 2 upon 4, okay? 2 upon 4, we know that is the same as a half, okay? So we can just simply say this is k raised to the power of a half, all over, and we can simply say 2 into itself goes once, 2 into 4 goes 2 times. So this is really k raised to the power of a half, okay? Now, I mean, by intuition, my friends, it would suggest then that since this is k raised to the power of a half and in my numerator, and I have k raised to the power of a half in my denominator, then this is k raised to the half over k raised to the half, which is which can cancel out itself. k raised to the half goes one time, and k raised to the power of a half into itself also goes one time, okay? So this is really saying I have 1 upon 1, okay, my friends? And that is equal to 1, all right? Hope that this was useful. See you in the next videos where we'll be looking at the next rule, the inverse rule, okay? Bye-bye.